Hello friends, welcome to Help Me Coder and in this video we are going to look how we can get a SharePoint online portal that to for one year free using the Office 365 subscription. Now this subscription is being given for developers by Microsoft that to free for one year so you should grab this as soon as possible. You never know Microsoft can take this down at any time. So welcome back to Helping Coder, the channel which talks about technology and helps the coder community out there. Now this Office 365 subscription is provided by Microsoft to developers so that they can develop or test their solutions. Now if you are new to SharePoint, then this will be very beneficial for you to work on SharePoint online, learn new things over there, or even if you are uh, someone who is already not having a knowledge on SharePoint, then you can develop your solutions or your application onto this platform that is SharePoint Online. It's quite beneficial. You know, imagine you're getting one year of online uh, place where you can work and develop your application. Now let's quickly look into the major points of this Office 365 developer subscription. So this is an Office 365 Enterprise E3 developer subscription which gives you 25 user licenses. So you can use this across your team. You can provide them those different licenses. We will show you later how and uh, where to do this uh, settings. Um, it lasts for one year and it is free for use for any development purposes like your coding or your testing activities. What is included in this subscription? So that's the question that everyone has. So definitely we are looking over here for SharePoint and that's part of it. So SharePoint online is part of it. But other than that, this Office 365 subscription consists of various different things. It consists full Microsoft Office uh, suite, like it contains Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you name it, OneNote, Publisher, access microsoft exchange skype for business onedrive and uh, microsoft teams stream and then microsoft flow so all these things are so if you want to see the full list you can uh, check out the link in the description section below and uh, one note it doesn't contain subscription to azure so if you are looking for subscription to azure as well you can still get that free uh, maybe not that for one year, but yes, uh, or maybe it is for one year, I guess. Uh, but I have, I will provide uh, the link in the description. How do you get the subscription to Azure free if you want that as well? So first thing you must do is you need to join the Office 365 Developers Program. So I will show you how you join that developer program. Once you join that, you go to that uh, profile page of that developers program, and in that profile page you will see that. Uh, there will be a link which uh, asks you need an Office 365 subscription for development and then you can set up the subscription over here, sign in for this subscription over here. Uh, so when you click on the setup subscription, there will be a window which will ask you a couple of questions uh, and then it will ask you for your username, domain, all those things, password and then once it's done, you 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 are you will receive a mail of this uh, subscription and then you can go inside your login into your subscription and then configure it now let's do without wasting further time let's set up this thing so now we will click on the office 365 developer Pro program link click on the sign in at the right hand side once you click on the sign in it will ask your uh, hotmail or uh, Microsoft account so I have one hotmail account which I will be using to sign in over here then once I provide that hotmail account I will have to provide its password once you sign in over here there will be a dashboard link at the right hand side so uh, let me just type in my password okay so once I sign in over here you see there is a dashboard link so this dashboard link is the one that you will click so once you click on this dashboard link you will see that you need to provide all the details about the country region from which country so it's Singapore for me I will just type in Singapore over here and once I type that the company that you are working on once you do that some agrees to the terms and condition and I would like to hear from Office 365 so as I click the tick mark over here it will ask you more information or what kind of information you want to hear so it will be like what is your primary focus as a developer because so my will be for internal use at my company uh 
what are you interested in developing personal projects what are your areas of interest so this is these are the things that will create the experience that you are looking for under office 365 so you will select the areas of interest you will select technologies you will select the languages that you want so you can select as many languages you want so this this will get you the information then you can click on the join button over here after you select all those things and when you click on the join it will create this office 365 program and you can see that there is a subscription that has been you can click on this one to set up the subscription but other than that also this is a you can get you also get the videos <clears throat> to, so you can click on the videos you can click on the community events you can join many community events so there are community events that are happening across your areas you can see which are those community events happening near your place then you can download this all video i will just add this uh, into my i will bookmark this so that i can access this later so you can see all those videos are there to help you then this is a 12 months free office 365 developer subscription so now once you click on setup subscription you need to provide your username and domain which is basically the uh, the whole uh, combination of user and domain domain name will give you the email address that you will use for logging in later so now after providing the password see see this is setting up your developer subscription now once you get you get the subscription name which is the yeah, which is the name that you will use to sign in into your account with the password click on the office.com link you will come again to this uh, sign in page over here things to remember sign in with your email that was just created for office 65 <coughs> and uh, click on next then provide your password that you just created once you do that, uh, what I have seen is that it asks me again the same information. Maybe that's an issue. Or I don't know, but it asks me second time the same information. So uh, let me provide it again. Once I do that, it will let me in into the Office 365 admin panel. So this is Office 365. Now I have to assign some products. By default, it doesn't have any products if you see right now. So let me click on assign products. So this is the one active user right now. So I am the one active user right now. Uh, I can add as many to as 25 users over here. You can import users and uh, you can do. So let me go to the products. So these are the products right now. This is an E3 developer subscription with 25 license still available. Software included all the details. Now I will go to the step by step process of setting up all the things. So in the admin center, I'm clicking on uh, continue as a current user then i'm adding a new user i can add one more i've added one more user over here and uh, you can provide where the password should go so i've chosen the place where the password should go once it's verified you go to the next page where it's loading so where basically you need to you will see the number of products that are assigned to you then you verify again once again and then you can you can set up alternative emails or you can straight away click on next once you click on next you, ins you can in install office apps and that's the end of setup so once you at end of setup you can go to the admin center from the admin center you can skip this go click on the office 365 link at the top of the page then see you have all the things over here you have outlook onedrive word sharepoint teams and the admin so my concern is to go and show you SharePoint online. So I will click or you can see even all the apps that are over here. So there are these are the different apps that get got installed. Flow and everything are over here. Dynamic 365. Let's go into SharePoint, which is our main thing that we will be showing over here. Once you click on SharePoint, you will again have to log in with your same account. So once I log in into the system, it will open the welcome sharepoint page for office 365 uh, now over here i can create new site so for the creation i click on the create site over here so basically you have team site and communication site you click on the communication one if you want team you can take the team one i gave a name over here so this is the url click on the finish part over here after choosing a design once you create and your sites got created so this is the sharepoint online site that you see over here uh, so you can play around with this site do all the development activities deploy your code test your code and all these are the sharepoint settings you can go to the site settings site content all these things thanks for watching this video do remember to like and subscribe our channel help me coder and do provide your comments in the comment section below i hope you would have got the access to 
the office 365 subscription let me know if you have uh, faced any issues or if you have any concerns about it in the comment section below and i will definitely try to get back to you on that thanks for watching and until next time happy coding